Hello and welcome to Make and Drink. My name is Derek and today we're going to make and drink a rusty nail. Now a rusty nail uses drambuie which is a scotch based liqueur with notes of honey and spices and its recipe dates back to the 1700s. Drambuie is Gaelic for the drink that satisfies and while drambuie has been around for a long time it's not very popular in many other cocktail recipes so today we're going to make two variations of the rusty nail. We're going to do a rusty nail and a straight up nail. Now the rusty nail is said to have been created sometime in the 1930s, but its popularity really happened in the 1960s and it was probably a combination of some marketing people who were importing this as well as a famous group of middle-aged men who love to drink. Now the thing about a rusty nail is it's not very complicated, it's not very creative, it's not very complex. The first version we're going to do is just two ingredients on ice. You build it in you know, the glass you're drinking it in and you don't need any specialty bar tools. But one of the reasons I wanted to do this was because when I turned 21 years old, I remember coming across a recipe for a rusty nail and, and wanting to try one. And at the time when I was building up my bar, I couldn't really rationalize spending you know, $40 for a bottle that really goes into one drink. While it's really only popular in a rusty nail, we're gonna try in the future to do a couple other things. But today we'll try it out in a rusty nail and a straight up nail. And then after that, I wanna try one with some lime juice, and maybe trying to elevate it just a little bit to see if we can build a cocktail out of it. Okay, for the rusty nail, we're gonna build this inside of our glass. I'm just gonna take a rocks glass and we're gonna start with some ice. Just gonna do one large ice cube. Then we're gonna start with three quarters of an ounce of drambuie. Two ounces of scotch. Just give that a little stir to chill it and dilute it just a little bit. This drink also calls for no garnish, so it's that simple. There it is, rusty nail. It tastes like sweet scotch. Um, it you know it's. It's not exceptional if you like scotch on the rocks. Um, you'll probably like this, but it is a little sweet, so you'll need to maybe dial down some of the drambuie. But you know, it's not it's not bad, especially you know it's getting colder, and you know some of these warm flavors in here and warm spices. It's it, it's it's good, you know, especially if you're using you know this is not an expensive bottle of scotch, so um, I would not ever suggest putting something you know, more than $25 or $30, um, unless you want to, then go for it. But, you know, it's it's not bad. It, it's, it's, it's perfectly acceptable. All right, here's an alternate recipe for the rusty nail, often called the straight up nail. And we're gonna start uh, with a mixing glass. All right, to the mixing glass, we're gonna add one dash of Angostura bitters, three quarter ounce of Drambuie, Two ounces of scotch. And we do a couple ice cubes. Just a little cleanup. I'm just gonna stir 20, 30 seconds. Now this should help a lot for just diluting the drink more. Uh, we're also adding the bitters in there. Just a little more complexity. And, you know, I, th I think if you're doing a cocktail like this, having dilution is good. And the bitters is gonna add another, you know, bit of depth to it as well. All right, we're gonna garnish this one with a lemon peel. that right down there. And there you have the straight up nail. Definitely better. Uh, you know, it's, it's diluted. So if you're someone who's, you know, against diluting scotch, then you're probably not gonna like this. But you know, I think just add the little bit of lemon, 
A little bit of bitters um, help make it into a real cocktail and not just two ingredients in a glass. So, uh, you know, I'm not gonna go out and order it, but but if you hand this to me, I'll, I'll drink it and enjoy it. So that is the straight up nail. Now moving on, we're gonna try to make this even better or e take that back. We're gonna try to make this good. We're gonna do a modified straight up nail and we're going to change a few of the ingredients to make it more in line with the cocktail. I'm gonna add some lime juice to it and uh, try to play off some of those characters in the dram berry, some of those warm spices. We'll do some orange bitters and some lime juice. We'll try to turn this into a legitimate cocktail. All right, so we're gonna need three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. I don't think we're gonna get three quarters out of this one. Actually, no, we will. We're gonna do a couple dashes of orange bitters. It's three, so this is the house orange bitters from Death & Co in New York City. It's a combination of equal parts of three bitters, Pea Brothers, Regan's, and Angostura. So one ounce of each into your own shaker. This is the house bitters from Death & Company in New York City. All right, and then we're gonna do three quarters an ounce of Jambouille. And two ounces of scotch. Use whatever scotch you want, doesn't matter. I'm gonna add a couple ice cubes. One large one, and then we're gonna crack one open. All right, I'm gonna shake it for 10 seconds or so. All right, this one I wanna serve straight up as well. And let's garnish this one with orange peel. All right, so there we have a modified straight up nail. See if it's any good. That's good. Uh, definitely brighter. You get the acid from the lime. Doesn't taste like the other two at all, which is why it's pretty good. So there you have it a modified version of the straight up nail. All right, there you go. Three versions of the rusty nail. Um, we're new here, so if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, or subscribe if you want to. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next one.